And we're sitting here less than two months until Election Day, and there's a lot more selections on the ballot than just who will be in the White House. 12 News is dedicated to informing you about your ballot, from the people running in your district to the measures in your city. 12 News journalist William Pitts explaining the 12 News Voter Guide just for you. This is the 12 News Voter Guide. Just put your address in on the screen and it'll take you to this, the Civic Center. You have a whole bunch of options you can choose from. Research your ballot, meet your representatives, those are people who already represent you, and voter registration. You can register for the first time, you can update your registration, or check to see if you're already registered. But first, let's click on Research Your Ballot. That's where all of the action happens anyway. When you're researching your ballot, you're gonna have a lot of options to choose from. We've put them all on the left side of your screen. When you click on them, let's say President of the United States, there's all of your candidates, Democrat, Libertarian, Green Party, Republican. It lets you pick each one of those candidates and have information about them, experience, education. And then we've put their stances on issues, healthcare, job benefits, housing, immigration, the economy, all of those things. If you go through these candidates and decide, well, this is the one you wanna vote for, just click add to my ballot. And it'll put it on a list that you can look up later on and take with you either to the polling place or refer to when you're filling out your ballot later on. Now there's a reason we did this because there are at least 70 different races, most likely, in your ballot. Now, they're going to change depending on where you are, but there are a lot of different options. If you go all the way down here, you've got ballot measures. There are a lot of ballot measures. And if you click on any of them, let's say, uh, let's go Prop 140. Prop 140 will give you the text as it appears on your ballot. This is the official language. Then it says, what does a yes vote mean and what does a no vote mean? Again, that is taken directly off of the ballot language. You will see this when you vote. What we've done extra is added the explanation from the people who support it or who are opposed to it. Why vote yes? Here's information from people who are for ballot measure 140. We've also done it with some of the other ballot measures as well. Say Prop uh, 314, we've got the same information. What does a yes vote mean? Why vote yes? and why vote no. When you decide, you can pick, I would like to vote no on that proposition. It'll add it to the list, and again, you can refer to it later. When you're done going through all 70 some odd of these propositions and ballot measures and candidates, go to view ballot. That will give you the option to see everything that you've already selected. President of the United States, US Senate, House of Representatives, Corporation Commission, anything that's on your ballot, and we'll show you who you wanted to vote for. Again, you can take all of that with you to the polling place or when you're filling out your mail-in ballot and refer to it and already know what you're going to decide before you fill out that ballot. Again, this is at 12news.com slash voter guide. It is so incredibly helpful. I know I will be doing that before I head to the polls. Yeah, I to be in line for a long time. Yes. People don't review. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, as we enjoy this week, 